The Great Central Railway built their London extension from Nottingham Victoria to London Marleybone in 1899. However, the line closed in 1969, but a section of that main line is preserved today and is part of the Great Central Railway from Loughborough to Leicester North, with four miles of dual track main line recreating the Great Central main line. So my name is Siren and today I'll be riding five different steam locomotives and visiting four different railway stations at this wonderful heritage railway, the Great Central Railway. And today is their winter steam gala and I'll be coming back to Loughborough Central Railway Station which is where I'm starting at today later on in the video. First of all though, right behind me is the 1015 service to Leicester North. And we're going to head to Leicester North right now behind this British Railway Standard Class 5 730 82 Camelot. I honestly really enjoyed that ride from Loughborough Central to Leicester North Railway Station. That BR Standard Class 5 73082 Camelot is actually a visited locomotive for the Blue Bell Railway. And this is where I'm coming at right now, Leicester North Railway Station, the southern terminus of the Great Central Railway. Now this station actually opened on the 15th of November 1990, but Leicester North Railway Station is on the site of a former disused railway station. Belgrave and Burstall, which opened on the 15th of March 1899 and it closed the passengers on the 4th of March 1969. However though, there is one thing remains of that railway station, it's just on the bridge right behind me. At the top of the bridge is the entrance that took you down to the former railway station. So the loco right behind me is a BR Standard Class 5 73156 and we shall board that train pretty soon on the 11.45 to Rougher Central for getting off at Corner Woodhouse. There is actually a map coming on screen right now to show you the plan that I'm doing today. So we caught a train from Rougher Central to Leicester North, where I'm coming at right now. And then we're going up to Corner Woodhouse, then we're going to Rothley, then we're going to Rougher Central. And then we're going to do one round trip to Leicester North and come back from Leicester North to Loughton Central. So right, the train is pulling off right now, so I better board that train to head to Corner Wood House.
So welcome to the 1940s. I'm at Warner Woodhouse Railway Station. Now this railway station represents the London North Eastern Railway in the 1940s. And there's also some World War II items here as well and posters. Now Warner Woodhouse Railway Station opened on the 15th of March 1899 by the Great Central Railway. It closed the passages on the 4th of March 1963 and it reopened as a heritage railway station in 1974. So I'm currently standing in a field, must be outstanding in my field. But anyway, the reason I've come here is because the railway line is right next door here. But I want to talk about that building right there, that single box. That single box is from Market Raisin. It dates from 1866 from the Manchester, Sheffield and Lincolnshire Railway era. So right behind me here is a turntable. Now this turntable is the only one of the Great Central Railway and was built by Cowans and Sheldon Limited of Carlisle. It was built in 1909, but it was actually used in York, currently where the National Railway Museum lies today. Oh look, it's a bus. So coming out called the Woodhouse at the moment is this locomotive right here, which is going on to a restoration. It's actually a Southern Pacific West Country class 34039 bus castle. And hopefully once it's back in sea, it should be a good loco to ride behind. So I'm now currently waiting for the 1322 service to Leicester North, but I'm only going as far as roughly on this train. Now this locomotive is actually from the Big Hans Railway or the Watercrest Railway as a UES 15 506. So it should be pulling in now, we board it and head down the line. So 30 minutes later than planned we've reached Rothley Railway Station. 
And it's a lovely Edwardian station here, dating back to the 1910s they decided this station as, to represent the Edwardian era. Now Rothley Railway Station opened on the 15th March 1899 by the Great Century Railway, but closed to passengers on the 4th of March 1963. However though, I don't have a date when this station reopened as a heritage railway station. So just over here is Rothley Cabin and it's actually an original Great Central Railway single box but this single box actually came from Blind Lane in Wembley, London. So we're now waiting for the 1359 service back to Loughborough Central. Now this is the local service and the local service is only goes as far as Rothley Brook which is just a little bit further down Rothley Railway Station. We've only got two locomotives to ride left and they're both BR Standard Class 2s. So this one coming in should be 78018. We we'll take this to Loughborough and then I'll wait at Loughborough for 78019 so I can take that to Leicester North. So we're now back at Loughborough Central Railway Station, the northern terminus of the Great Central Railway for now. I'll explain that one shortly. Now Loughborough Central Railway Station opens on the 15th of March 1899 by the Great Central Railway. However though it lasted longer than the other stations and it closed on the 5th of May 1969. It reopened on the 23rd of March 1974. So I can't go past this point here, but what's beyond this point is, it's Loughborough TND where they house the steam locomotives. We repair them, restore them and overhaul them. Now this will be locked down soon because they are planning to extend the Great Central Railway. Now there's another Great Central Railway called the Great Central Railway Nottingham. And they will be extending from Loughborough to a place called Ruddington. So instead of a seven mile line, it's actually going to be much further. So I'm now on the half past three to Leicester North. I'm actually in a composite coach. It's actually got six seats in a compartment here. Now we are behind BR Standard Class 2, 78019, which is my fifth train of the day to ride. So I have ridden all five trains now as soon as this departs Loughborough Central. Unfortunately though, it is running late, so the garden is running roughly about 30 minutes late. But like I said, it can't be a garden without trains running late. I'm not going to lie, he's so comfy.
So we just made it to Leicester North Railway Station. 78019 is going to run round and take us back to Loughborough Central. Pulling into Corner Woodhouse Station, and there's a little bit of an update on our journey back from Leicester North. We had a single failure between Roughly and Corner Woodhouse, which has delayed us a little bit, but not too much. Like I said, it can't be a guard about trains running late or something going wrong. <laughs> anyway, we're just pulling into Corner Woodhouse now, and then we'll carry on to Lucas Central. So we're now just standing outside Loughborough Railway Station. We're just waiting for a platform to clear so we can continue into the platform. <laughs> now I thought we moved then, but obviously we haven't. <laughs> so I'm now back at Loughborough Central Railway Station, over an hour late. Mind you, can't be a guard about trains running late. But honestly, the Great Central Railway today has really been a good gala, despite the delays. I have rode all five steam locomotives that I was planning to ride today. And I've also visited the four stations on this line. There is two more stations, but unfortunately they're not open. But Loughborough Central to Leicester North, we have visited all the stations. So there's going to be a video popping up right now. If you like steam trains, please go and click that. I've been side trains. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to Loughborough Midland Railway Station to catch a train out of here. <laughs> 